Sunday afternoon and we're finally going combining. <laughs> So we're out here and we're gonna start taking off our first few acres. Dad's taking off maybe uh, three or four acres here on the end rows. We're gonna get the machine all set so that we're not spitting a bunch of beans over. Get everything going as good as we can. We got the grain cart out here and uh, we got our helper up there. So we're getting ready to go. Be the uh, first field of 2017. We've had about eight inches of rain here in the last uh, 15 days. So the fields are finally dry enough to hopefully get going. So we've taken out about seven acres up to this point so far. Uh, it's going pretty slow. What we've been doing is keep an eye on, keeping an eye on the machine to make sure that we're not spitting much for beans out the back. So we've been making some adjustments to the machine. You can see the sample in the tank or the grain coming into the tank is pretty clean. Uh, and that's what we want. We don't want a whole lot of pods on it. We don't want a whole lot of pods or sticks or uh, anything like that building up in there because that'll get dirty in the bins. Uh, Dad's back home making making some room, moving some stuff around and cleaning out some of the bins and um, getting ready so that we can dump these things in there tomorrow. We're just going to fill up the grain cart and uh, semi tonight and uh, kind of get everything going good and then we'll hit it a lot harder tomorrow. Um, so far the yield is looking okay. Um, not not great, but so far we've only taken off mostly end rows and we've been going pretty slow, so uh, hopefully it'll get better. We're not running the grain cart right now because we're not pushing it. Um, the fields are pretty wet from all the rain we've gotten anyway. When I back up here, I'll show you guys what I dealt with here in these last few hundred feet. I wasn't expecting it. Most of this field's been pretty dry so far, uh, but I was coming across here and you can see there where the combines fell in and left those big ruts and uh, we we struggled through there I wasn't gonna dump yet because we didn't have too much of a tank uh, or too many beans in the tank so I was gonna leave them in there but once that once the combine fell in like that I figured we better get the weight out of here so we're gonna keep going a little bit and uh, make some adjustments and see what we think here right All right, we're gonna jump out here. We kind of stopped in the middle of the field. We're gonna jump out and check the ground. You can see there is a few on the ground here. There's one, actually there's four right in that little area. Um, since these are here and we hadn't passed this spot yet with the combine, with the actual back of the machine, we know that these are coming out of the header. And I know they're, uh, the pods are shattering a lot in the head. And I'll show you what I mean by that. The pods get so dry that they snap really easily. So you can see here we haven't even gotten to these yet but the reel touched them and they popped open so they're shattering pretty easily but the stems are tough and I think that's because our ground is so wet right now these stems are pretty bendy and when those stems are bendy like that they don't want to feed in there nicely and then we have problems with them they kind of slug through we call it where they build up in clumps and then they all go through at once and then when they do that that actually makes the shattering worse so we're losing some at the head. Onyx says it's good. I'll walk back here and make sure he's right. Uh, general rule of thumb is in one square foot, if you have four seeds, that's about one bushel to the acre. Um, on corn, most of the time we can get better than that. But uh, just by looking at what we're losing at the head, I know that uh, we're losing that much. So. I don't really know what to do about it, just uh, adjust the reel in the head accordingly and lose as little as possible. But right now we're kind of at the point where we're getting well into October and we really don't have anything out yet because it's been so rainy and today is beautiful. But uh, we need to start taking the crop out because we don't have the luxury of, uh, of waiting into December and that these soybeans need to get off the field or they'll actually start breaking open themselves and falling on the on the ground so we got to get these things out well before the ground freezes up and get some tillage done being as far north as we are so that's why we're kind of we're kind of in a mode now where we've just got to push it and we've got to keep moving
so I didn't look at how many acres we actually took off. It wasn't very many, maybe uh, 15 acres here. But uh, we took off enough to fill a semi. We got the grain cart about three quarters full. That'll fill a semi, short semi load. But uh, what we're running into is stuff like this, where I wouldn't even see it. Be driving along, wouldn't even see it wouldn't know uh, that it was gonna get muddy and all of a sudden the combine would fall in and we'd be fighting to dig out of there and we've got uh, 800 metric duels uh, and uh, rear wheel assist on that combine and we're still having problems with that so we we're at a point where we want to push it we want to get this crop out but right now uh, it's definitely not worth this because we're doing damage to these fields too causing compaction when we're running into areas like this. So we're, we're gonna pull out of here for tonight and um, see what things look like tomorrow. We need some more sun and some wind and some dry days, but we're kind of running short on that. Okay, go. Minnesota Millennial Farmer out. <laughs>